All right, guys, here we are at 85 That Lane, just outside of Epworth, and you do have to drive up just a little, little hill. You have about 200 yards of gravel road to get up here. Pretty easy drive, nothing, nothing really difficult about it. There's great parking here, okay? Um, as you can see, the leaves have just fallen in the past three or four leaves and are almost gone, but there's plenty, plenty of area to get in here and park and do things and, you know, if kids wanted to, you know, you could throw the football out here. There's plenty of decent room to entertain yourself. Uh, we'll go in through the front. Now, it looks like these decks are new, um, which is nice. All these neck decks are very well done. They got the little metal banisters in them. Uh, again, a good, good little property and, you know, parcel of, to be on. Now, this is kind of an older model, but it's had a spectacular renovation. It is a split level, and it's actually a tri-level, which is something you can't tell from the pictures, but we'll walk through it together. So here you are, you immediately walk into the living room, and you have a massive dining room area, which is great. Most places don't have anything like this where you could put a big family. So this one does have a lot of bedrooms, so very accommodating. I love the reno job. Uh, let's go ahead since we're here and we're close by They got a newish hot tub As You can see this is the back of the house. That's where I was parked and they do have the gas Hooked up to the grill. So that's a permanent fixture and there's actually a timer on the on the gas Which is which is awesome. So you don't have to worry about propane bottles and things like that Hot tub Smells good looks good. I have no complaints here there is the little uh, fire pit area. Oh, there's a buck just ran off, a spike back there. I saw plenty of deer driving in here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you could. this could definitely be improved, um, the little fire pit area. Outside of the house, looks like it's been stained recently, metal roof. I've got no complaints about the exterior for the most part. Um, cell phone reception, I do have one or two bars with Verizon, so it's it's usable out here. For satellite, they are, for TV, they have direct. I don't know, I have to see what sort of internet options are out here. Now, you walk from here, the the kitchen area, and all, again, I, I kind of breeze through it, but all, man, nice granite. The island is awesome. Everything here, just no complaints, man. They, I mean, they, they spent some money on this reno. Um, a little office area, standalone office area, which is fantastic in today's day and age. We'll go through here in a minute. That's the to go downstairs to one of the levels. Walk up here. You have a bathroom. There is a light up there. I just don't have it on because it starts the fan. Tiled shower and washer dryer. There's a door that's supposed to go right here, but I think it was just too much of a hassle to open and close and all that, so they just moved it. But they have a lot of those sliding barn doors in here. Behind here is actually just a storage space okay um i don't want to get in there you just got to trust me it's just kind of a hallway closet storage thing um i'm gonna call this the master probably the biggest bedroom king bed in here man and it's just plenty of room to have a king bed furnishings here are i would say ample and are fairly chic big closet not that you need it and the master bedroom or bathroom excuse me Super clean in here, all kind of the same tile, same look. Um, you know, custom tiled shower, looks great. I can't, can't complain. Uh, let's go across the hallway. Then you have another big bedroom. They got two fulls in here and they fit in perfectly. If you want to do the bunks, you could. I mean, you got, you got options. It's got a little closet over there. Chest of drawers, a TV. They got the direct TV, a little hook up there. So, you know, another great little bedroom. And again, the third bedroom up here. Pretty fair size bedroom. That is a queen, not a king. Uh, I would recommend a king and maybe utilize that queen somewhere else. But uh, it looks like that's a matching, yeah, it is a matching set of furniture. Uh, and it's great. I, I got no complaints about it. Again, little closet. Continued to trim this out with the, the barn wood, which looks fantastic. Cause I can tell you, this is this is the type of house that 
it didn't look like a cabin. You know, the outside did, but I guarantee you the in, inside, they, they've done this textured um, drywall. I, I guarantee it was not this cabiny before the current owners decided to make it cool. So anyway, now, as you can see, this is a split level. You come down just a small set of stairs. Now you're kind of basement level one. You're gonna have here, you'll have a bathroom. Again, same nice tile. Love these ceilings. Two sinks. Another laundry room. Um, what do you call it? Tankless hot water heater. I just cut the heater on to see if it would work. And absolutely, they got mini split units downstairs to take care of this. And I just cut this on two minutes ago and it's already hot in here. So um, mini split units kick butt. Um, I can say a little bit of, you know, this is a metal door, an insulated metal door. I see a little bit of daylight coming through there. I would, you know, not a big deal, but, um, you know, just have a, put that, put the little rubber seal, improve that rubber seal around there. Uh, but nice little room, bunk room. Go across the hallway and we have the next bedroom and it is big. Okay, so it's got a king down here. I forgot the king's down here. So maybe, yeah, get away with the queen upstairs for sure. It's got its own little TV. You got two closets. Now, this is a real closet, and this was kind of the, they've got this right now as a junk room, okay? But um, utility closet, I'd probably lock that up. Here's a big closet. Not that you would ever need it. I've seen families put the little baby beds in here. Um, you know, if they got a little bitty baby, maybe they put it there. I mean, most people are going to want to put it beside their bed. But again, another option. The little fold-out how uh, the little fold out beds. Okay, this is the maid's closet I don't have access to, but I've been told it's just cleaning supplies and whatnot in there, linens. Okay, now we're gonna go downstairs again to the third level, okay? And as you can see, I got the fireplace going. I turned it on. It was easy on, easy, easy off. We'll cut it off together. But I love the decoration in here. Very cabiny, very fun. They got the fishing, they got you know, the kind of old school stuff, but this looks like a fun place to hang out. And this is all signs that you get from Hobby Lobby. And, you know, they created a vibe down here and it, it, it works. Pool table. I'm not a pool guy. I'm not a billiards guy, but it's in great shape. You know, couch, couch is in pretty good shape. Okay. I, I wouldn't throw it out. I definitely, it's definitely got a lot of mileage left into it, but you can tear it's It's had fair wear and tear, but it's, it's clean. Um, I don't have any problems with that. They got the big screen TV here. That's a big uh, 65 maybe. I mean, it's a big TV. So you kind of have the movie room here. They got a little table here. I would improve this probably with a, a poker table here. Scoot it this way, more toward this couch, a poker table. And against this wall, I would put a shuffleboard. Shuffleboard fit in here. It's only nine feet long, about uh, 24 inches wide, but nine feet, you'd have plenty of room to put the shuffleboard in here. Okay, controlling the fireplace. It's just a little gas fireplace. And I'm here to tell you, it works. It puts out some pretty good heat. Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, and the controls for it are actually right here. Everything's on a timer. So I'm gonna hit off, and there it goes. It cut off. And that's it. Oh, and the fan's slowing down. And let's watch it together so I can touch this button here. Boom, cuts on and cut it off. Awesome, awesome little feature. People will love that. And it warmed this place up real quick. So I believe that's it. That is, I'll sh we'll run through the bedrooms real quick again. You know, that's, I guess you call it the fifth bedroom, the second bedroom downstairs. We've got the, Bunk room, mini split. The other one has a mini split unit in here as well. Now all the floors are tile, okay? Kind of an LVP, excuse me, or LPV, I can't remember. Um, you know, like a high quality laminate is what all those floorings are down there. Up here it is wood. Uh, but a great place, absolutely great place. Great reno, plenty of room to hang out, you know, have you know, spend Christmas here, you name it, any sort of holiday, long week, weekend, just 
any opportunity to come up here and hang out. And it's only about 12 minutes from downtown. So pretty easy drive. Uh, and that's it. 85, that lane.